Hello everyone, hope that you're all okay and that you've all had a really good Easter break and you've been able to enjoy this amazing sunshine that we've had. Um, I know that I've certainly been enjoying being in the garden and just going out and about in the sunshine. Um, today I want to talk to you about the theme of hope. Um, obviously we've now got another three weeks lockdown um, at least and so it's easy to become a little bit hopeless but actually I've been thinking about the theme of hope a lot of this time because we've just come out of the Easter season and we celebrate that in our household and that is um, a festival about hope, about Jesus dying and rising again and also around spring, although it feels more like summer at the minute, but in spring that is what we look at, is things coming to life, the animals being born, crops coming to life, things like daffodils which where the bulb looks like there was no life under the surface starts to come up, the bluebells are appearing and so these things give us hope and around us we're seeing a lot of symbols of hope at the minute i don't know what it's like where you live but in my area a lot of children are painting the rainbows and putting them in their windows or putting them on chalk on the pavement and that is a symbol of hope as we say thank you to the nhs for all that they're doing during this time and i don't know if you know where the idea of a rainbow being a symbol of hope comes from but it's from the story of noah's ark which i'm sure you've learned about in re at some point but it's from the old testament where noah was sent into the ark by god because god flooded the earth and he took two of every kind in there and then once they had been in there for 40 days and 40 nights and um, they sent out a dove and the dove showed that there was land and there was a rainbow in the sky and that was a symbol of hope that God would never flood the earth again. And so I've been thinking a lot about that symbol at this point and looking for signs of hope. Because right now you might feel a little bit like Noah and his family in the ark. Imagine 40 days with animals and being on top of each other. That's how maybe you're feeling now. You're not able to get out. You're on in the same um, house as all your family and maybe that's causing a few problems. And you can feel a little bit hopeless. Like when is this going to end? When are we going to get some form of normality again? But what I think is it's really important to look for signs of hope in this season. So what is hope? Well hope is the desire for something to happen or a wish to come. Um, so we say things like I hope it's going to be sunny tomorrow or I hope I'm going to do well in my exams. You want this to come true in the future and maybe for some of you you have lost hope because maybe you were hoping that you would do better in your GCSEs than in your mocks and now that your exams are off that might not be the case. So a note to you all, mocks are important, never assume that they're not. But things like you hope maybe one of your relatives is going to get better because they're sick. These are all signs of hope. And how do we find hope? Because it is easy when you're watching the news to get sad. I know that when I watch and see the daily to death toll, it makes me feel sad inside and sometimes I don't have good dreams thinking about it. So it's important to be able to find signs of hope around us. So the things that I've been doing are when I've been going out, we've been on bike rides and I've seen lots of cherry blossom appearing. Um, in our area, loads of the trees come at this time and they're so beautiful. And that shows me that even though things are not normal right now, nature is still carrying on. And that sign of hope that spring is here, summer is on its way and the natural cycle is still continuing. Um, sometimes you need to look out for each other in this season and um, I don't know if you've seen the captain Tom um, who has been doing the hundred laps of his garden that is amazing he's raised 17 million pounds today it's probably more by the time you see this that is a sign of hope the goodness of people who have wanted to support him in that that he's raised all that money sometimes you need to look out of yourself to get hope and there is a song that says when you feel like hope is gone reach out and that's what I would say, if you are feeling a little bit down, oh it's another three weeks being in lockdown, then reach out to other people. I usually go on a walking group on a Monday night, but obviously we're not able to do that. So instead we've been Zooming with each other and we've been sharing stories of all the positive things that are happening. So maybe that's something you need to do. Share with your friends once a week what has been good that you have done, what is something that you're hoping for, and then see that it comes true um, when you Skype or Zoom with each other. So I want to encourage you, look for signs of hope around us that even in the midst of all of this where it is a little bit uncertain you can still be hopeful 
that we will come out of this as stronger people we will be changed people and hopefully we will be better for it i want to wish you all a brilliant week and we'll speak soon bye everyone